Hello and welcome. My name is Aram Yako. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can parse a string to X document and how you can deserialize a X document. So basically, what have I done now? I have pre made a class called XML Handler. In this class, we have a getPersonXML method. And this getPersonXML method gets a path to the XML file we are looking for, and the XML file looks like this. We have two elements uh, uh, called person, and uh, we have f name, l name, and age inside each element. So we're getting the path, and then we're loading the XML file, and then we're converting it to a string. And I'm doing this because Imagine in real life application, you're maybe storing an XML as a string in your database and you need to convert it to an X document and then deserialize it. If you haven't watched my previous tutorial, how to serialize and deserialize XML, where, where you store an XML file to a path and where, where you read the XML file, please watch them before this tutorial. I will include them in my description. However, when we are here in this variable, we will have an XML as a string format. So what do we need to do now? First, we need to parse it to X document, and then we need to deserialize it to list person. So let's begin with the first one. To parse a string to X document, we use the following code. We do X document, then we can call it XML document, equal to X document dot parse. And then you can see it takes one argument of type string. So we're going to include this person XML string. So now we have an X, X document. The variable name is XML document here. What we need to do now when we have this XML, we need to deserialize it to a class. So we have to do the following thing. We have to say we're going to deserialize it to a list person. We can call this variable for persons. Is equal to XML serializer. Oh, I forgot one part. We have to build the XML serializer first. So XML serializer, we can say XML seri serializer is equal to new XML serializer. And it takes one argument called type. So we have to do type off. What do we want to serialize it to? Yeah, we want to serialize it to a list of person. So now we're going to take this XML serializer and do deserialize. Deserialize to what? What should we deserialize? We can see that the deserializer takes different kind of arguments. A stream, system XML, XML reader, text reader, XML reader, XML reader, and events, etc. What we want to do is convert the X document to XML reader so we can deserialize it. So this is an XML, this is X document and we need to convert it to XML reader. So to do that, we take this XML document variable of type X document and we do dot create reader. And we can see here that this system XML it returns this method returns and system.xml.xml reader. So with this method we can create an XML reader. Now we have another type of error. Cannot implicitly convert type object to system collection generic list XML person. So even though our serializer converts it to type of list person, we have to implicitly convert it as well here because we cannot convert a generic type an object to a generic type so we have to tell it that we're going to convert it to list person here 
So let's see if everything is working. Let's put the debugger here. So now we have a string of XML. And now we're going to parse this string to X document. So it seems to work. And then we're going to create our XML serializer and we're going to tell it to serialize it to type of list person. And then we're going to do our, our deserialization. And we're also going to create a reader for our X document here. So let's look at the result. We can see that we have two elements in our list of type XML person and we can see we have the elements in the XML document. So this is very useful uh, if you may have a string of type XML or you already have an X document uh, and you want to deserialize it. Sometimes people store a string in the database as well uh, for the XML. So you, when you fetch the XML from the database, you have to convert it from string to X document, and then you can deserialize it. In my next tutorial, I will show you how you can change the root name. So for example, in this XML tree, it's, it's called array of person. So in the next tutorial, I will show you how you can change the XML root name and attributes. All right. Thank you for watching. See you at the next tutorial. Bye bye.